welcome back everybody. This is our activity for today. We're going to do a little bit of writing. We're going to make three different lists on our massive penguin today. And the first list we're going to make is what penguins are. Then we're going to make a list of what penguins have. And then we're going to make a list of what penguins can do. So let's have a think about the first one. Penguins are. Penguins are. What are penguins? Does anybody know? Penguins are animals. I heard someone say that. Let's write animals. A -n -i -n -a Animals. Penguins are animals. What kind of animal is a penguin? Did, did someone say bird? That's right. Penguins are birds. B -d birds. Penguins are animals. Penguins are birds. Does anybody know what a penguin looks like? What colour might he be? Got a few clues here. Yeah, they're mainly black and white, aren't they? Let's see if we can fit that one in. Black. B. L. A. And it has the K sound with both the K sounds there. Black and A. D. White. There's a silent H in the word white. There we go. Black and white. Are they anything else? What are penguins like? Are they sleepy? Are they happy? Are they clever? Yeah, they are quite clever, aren't they? From the stories we've read, we know that they're clever. Shall we put that one then? K -u -e uh, clever. There we go. So we found out that penguins are animals, penguins are birds, penguins are black and white, and penguins are clever. Should we have a go at finding out what penguins have? Now let's have a look. Let's have a look at Douglas because he's got the best feet to show you. So what kind of feet does Douglas have? Does anybody know what we call them? It's something that begins with a W. And it's something actually that a spider makes. Does anybody know what a spider makes? A web, that's right. And we call these kind of feet webbed feet. So a penguin has webbed feet, a bit like a duck. A duck has webbed feet too. There we go, thank you Douglas. So we'll put webbed feet. And they use them a little bit like flippers, don't they, when they're in the water. Their webbed feet help them to go faster in the water. Webbed feet. Now what else do penguins have? What are these called? Even though we know that penguins can't fly, they still have wings, that's right. Wings, w, i, ng. There's that ing sound that we were talking about in phonics. Wings. Mm, let's see, what else do penguins have? Penguins have, ooh, I know something. It's something small that hatches out of the egg. Chicks, that's right. Chicks. Oh, there's our ch sound. A k and a h. Ch. I. K. There's another digraph. K. S. Chicks. Penguins have webbed feet. Penguins have wings. Penguins have chicks. Hmm, let's see, what else do penguins have? Ooh, if I turn Douglas around, 
what can we see down here very very small and short and stubby but it's his tail that's right hello paisley have you come to say hello <laughs> tail to a bull's tails i'm gonna have to go and get him now to say hello aren't i come on paisley say hello to the children. You don't have to stay long. There we go. Come and see the penguins. They're the same colour as Paisley, aren't they? Not quite as big though. You've been eating all your treats today. I can tell you have. Say hello. Put them over here. <laughs> don't let them stay. Go on then, son. <laughs> Here we go. So we've got penguins have webbed feet wings, chicks and tails. Now let's move on to penguins can. What can penguins do? We know that they can't fly don't we? So what do they do instead? What do you think Waddle might do instead? Yeah, that's right he can swim can't he? I heard someone say that. He can swim. So, oh. Mm. Swim. Penguins can swim. Now what do they do when they're on land? We know that they swim in the sea. But what do they do when they're on land, do you think? It was in one of our songs this week, wasn't it? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, that's right. They waddle, just like Waddle. That's his name, isn't it? I think that's why he's called Waddle. Because that's what he does. Penguins can waddle. Now, if a penguin comes to a big steep bit of ice, what might he do on that steep bit of ice? He wouldn't still be waddling, would he? And he wouldn't be swimming yet because he's on the ice. They go sliding, that's right. So penguins can slide. Oh, I. It has an E on the end there. Slide. Penguins can swim. Penguins can waddle. Penguins can slide. Oh, let me think. What else can penguins do? Let me give you a clue. It's something. Um, something that they do when they're in the sea. What do they catch? What do they like to eat? Can you think? Well done! Fish! Penguins can eat. Eat. Fish. I. Sh. There's our sh sound. Let me move Douglas because I don't think you'll be able to see that. There we go. Fish. Ish. Penguins can swim, penguins can waddle, penguins can slide, and penguins can eat fish. There's room for one more, and it's something that a penguin did in this book. Penguins can. What do you think? What did the chick hatch out of? An egg? That's right. So penguins can lay eggs. I'm going to have to move the book I think because I'm going to have to do a year. Ooh, a lay e g lay eggs. Wow I think you've done really well there reception. We've got loads of things that penguins are, penguins have and penguins can do. What a lot of ideas you've shared with me today. Now, it's your turn to pick just a few things. You don't need to do as much as we have together today. So pick a few things that you would like to write. I'll put some templates on Twitter with the picture of the penguin split up into the three sections, or you can make your own on a big piece of paper like I've done. 
and have a go at writing some things that you found out about penguins. Thanks reception, see you tomorrow.